Hey guys, this is Jenna. Welcome to our Simply Project Life App Scrappers planning day. I'm super excited to share with you some tips that the group as a whole have shared in the past. I'm going to just put them together in a couple of tutorials for us. I'll post some video tutorials here in the beginning um, and then it'll just be a few pre-scheduled posts um, from 8 a.m. to noon central and I'll end with a live Q&A at noon central and hopefully you'll be able to follow along and set up your album with me and then if you have any questions feel free to ask them as we go or in the Q&A. So let's begin by setting up some preferences to get us started smoothly. So go to the question mark on your home screen and tap on preferences. Okay, so I'm going to set up this as my default layout. I will use this for the left side of my double page spreads. And so think about how you're going to scrap. Do you care what that looks like? Do you scrap monthly, weekly, chronologically, but with no agenda? Or do you just scrap whatever, whenever you want? This may not be an important factor in picking the right one here, um, but I always start out with that on my left side and then I use F3 for the right side. It, that is what we're going to set up today. But that is what I'm going to set up today. But you choose what you want to do. Again, all of this will be customizable later on through the year or through your project. And you can change it at any time. So I'm going to choose that. I'm going to also choose the um, full 12 by 12 photo option for my editorial. That is a freebie. So you can use that. Everybody has access to that. If you're an Android user, um, it's where it's always been. If you are an iOS user, it's now moved to the editorial section. It used to be in the, what they now call small prints section. <laughs> so for the small print, set up this vertical four by six as your preference. And then um, go ahead and set up railway or not railway, but set up the same font. I'm using railway for both your journaling font and your freeform text font preference. You'll see why a little later, but go ahead and choose the same one for your journaling there. And keep in mind one you'll want to use for titles. Now, if you don't use freeform text or you don't ever use outside cards, your freeform text, you don't need to worry about, obviously you don't have it. But if you have the feature and you think you'll want to use journaling cards from other kits outside of the app, Go ahead and set them up to be the same. This will make sense later, I promise. Um, okay, I like square pocket corners. I like my drop shadow on. You choose your preference there and then choose your preference on how to export your page. I'm leaving mine as a JPEG. So our preferences are set and now we're going to go to our library section of the app and we are going to begin by setting up something we will use throughout the folder called a backup marker. So let's go to our pages option and choose the small prints option and then choose the plus sign. Okay, so now we're going to add a free white card from the neutrals kit. I have this in my favorites. All right, so we add that card and now we're gonna just add some simple journaling using the native journaling option and it just says, uh, these pages are saved and backed up. Okay, I'm gonna enlarge that a bit using the slider. I'm also going to center justify it and I'm going to tap the arrow back and use another journaling tool and vertically offset it just a little bit. Okay, that, oh, you know what? I think I added a little arrow and some dashes. So there we go, that'll work. So we have this page done now. We're gonna come down here and tap the export arrow. And we're gonna add it to a new folder. So we are going to add this to our new folder and we're going to name it I'm going to name it 2021 you choose your project whether it's a yearly album or a vacation or baby milestones or whatever maybe it's a wedding album whatever you want to set up with me today go ahead and name it that and then you can repeat this process for any other um, 
albums you need to set up. I use folders. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm saying album and folder interchangeably here. The app calls it a folder. I will try to remember that. <laughs> My iOS Photos app, you can make albums in there. So sometimes I'm thinking of that word. Anyway, all right, so create this folder. Now we have that backup marker in it. And you can see I have one in all of these albums. They're actually in all of them, but these are the three I need to do some work in. I made one backup marker and I added it to multiple folders. So once you have made one of these, you can add it to another folder. You can remove it from a folder. You have a lot of options there, but I make one of these, only one, and I add it to multiple folders. There's no need to make multiple ones of those or duplicate it. Just add the same one to another folder because you're not going to print that or customize it or need to edit it later. It's simply a placeholder to show you where you need to save and back up your pages. I use that because I do not print in the app. It's still helpful to use it if you do print in the app, but that's the reason why I decided to make one is because I kept saving and um multiple pages and I mean the same page multiple times excuse me and there was just no need for that because I would lose track of where I last exported my pages so it's a good idea to do that anyway because you need to save your pages from the app do not rely on this app as storage um, you still need to save and back up your pages elsewhere so it's a good idea no matter how you use the app but I started using it because I kept <laughs> trying to reprint the same page <laughs> anyway all right so there's that you have your preferences set you have a backup marker made and you put it in a folder and now when we come in to do the next thing um, we will be set to go again make it make sure you have all those freebies downloaded think about the fonts you want to use pick one photo that you want to use as a placeholder Think about a background color if you want to change your pages and use a different background color other than the default white. And then also think if you want to use any overlays. Um, there are a couple of popular frame overlays in one of the Project 12 May kits. I think it's the 2019 version. And there's also one in Just Add Color. They're very simple frames. And there are a lot of overlays that are have fun frames around them. So you can look through any of those. Um, but really make sure you have the... Um, freebies downloaded so we can get started in our next video with a cover page and page one. See you soon.